The man who's accused of scaling the White House's fence, sprinting across the lawn, and making his way inside the doors made his first appearance in federal court Monday. Today in court, we learned 800 rounds of ammunition in his car, not in, with him, but in his car, according to the prosecutor. And he also had a machete and two hatchets in his car. Prosecutors say no guns were found in the car, but also revealed more details about Gonzalez's past, including his previous run-ins with the law. According to prosecutors and the Roanoke Times, Gonzalez was also arrested in Virginia for possession of a sawed-off shotgun and a sniper rifle. This is reportedly the mugshot of Gonzalez from that July arrest. Authorities also reportedly found disturbing evidence in his car then. Also in his car at that time, according to uh, police, uh, a map with the White House and the Masonic Temple in Alexandria. Those two uh, sites were circled on this map. Then in another incident in August, Gonzalez was reportedly stopped near the White House grounds with a hatchet in his waistband. Again, that's according to prosecutors. He was not arrested for that incident. Secret Service reportedly did not shoot Gonzalez on Friday because he did not appear to be armed when he made a break toward the White House. After he was apprehended, it was discovered he had a three-inch long knife in his pocket. Gonzalez is currently being held behind bars after prosecutors argued he was a threat to the president and a possible flight risk since he's reportedly homeless. His next court date is scheduled for October 1st. For Newsy, I'm Matt Moreno.